Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Au revoir. As you can guess, Anya and I are at a market today. And it's not just any market. It's one of the most famous, most visited, and obviously most beautiful markets Provencal style on the French Riviera. But we are not only showing you the market today, but also where you can have breakfast or lunch, where you can park your car, and when it's best to arrive, and which shop you should definitely not miss. So, welcome to Valbon, my adopted hometown. Every Friday morning, things get wild at Place des Arcades and the many small alleys of the cute medieval town of Valbonne. You'll find a multitude of different things to buy, to smell and to taste. French products and local stuff that's ideal to take home as a souvenir are on display, mixed and mingled, without any particular order. Of course, there's fruit and vegetables, cheese and meat and sausages. You can also buy a very typical local jam made of rose petals or jasmine growing in grass. Or made of lemons and bitter oranges growing in Valoris. You'll always find honey from local beekeepers. This one from high up in the maritime Alps. The tasty chicory I bought from a vendor I've known for ages is grown in an old railway tunnel not far from here. Look at that picture! And no Provencal market without olives. So, I bought these great olives. Actually, there's a French a Niçois specialty, a specialty from Nice, and the same from Spain. And at home, I'm gonna check out which one I prefer. And even spatulas, salad cutlery, and bowls made of olive wood. Anya actually bought me one of these ones. It's a spoon made from olive wood for salt. Very cute. We also met this nice man who doesn't sell Provencal stuff, but homemade cookies American style. Uh, I created my own products, my own American products homemade because I can't find them here in France. And then there are many more things at the market that are not for eating, but easy to take home as a gift. A classic at the markets down here is soap that has been produced in and around the city of Marseille for about 600 years. Violet. This is one of my favorites. Ayla's favorite scent is violet, but mine is lemon. And speaking of scents and fragrances, Anya was happy to come across one of her favorite stalls. Cinnamon, is it right? Cinnamon and apple. I love it and my son will love it too. He especially asked me for it. You could also get a piece of jewelry, a bracelet made of beads or made of ribbons. In case that you forgot your sunglasses. And of course, you can shop for Provencal fabric or those typical Provencal tablecloths. And as in any major market in the south of France, you can even buy clothes and shoes. If you forgot your bag or your bag is too small, then you can buy this Annie and buy a new one. After all of that shopping, you definitely deserve a break. There's this one spot right on the sunny main square called Place des Arcades that you can't miss. The Café des Arcades, great to see and be seen. You could even start your day with breakfast at this restaurant. For lunch, you should make a reservation right when you arrive in the morning, especially in summer. And that's exactly what Anya and I did. They serve all kinds of Mediterranean dishes, but also international cuisine like this poke bowl. Tiny Valbonne offers plenty of restaurants with mostly Mediterranean food, but also Indian, Moroccan or Italian, for example. For a healthy lunch, we suggest you try the sweet little green cafe in one of the side alleys. If you come to Valbonne and it's not Friday, you can still enjoy this place. Stroll through the cute little streets and take a look at the souvenir shops that offer, among other things, handmade French products. I really want to recommend you two shops in the village. First of all, the bakery, which is really great. And I just bought a very famous Valbonne bread. And you have really absolutely come and try it. Make sure to get here at 11 in the morning or shortly after in order to get your baguette right out of the oven. 
and I never ever make it home without a bite. And the second one is the cheese shop. You will find cheese from all over France. It's a very nice present also to take home for your friends and your family. Just ask Eric, the owner of the store, to put the cheese in a vacuum bag and you can easily take it anywhere, even on a plane. People from all over the place come to the market in Valbonne for the diversity of the products, its beautiful setting and the many small alleys packed with stalls. Usually there's 130 of them. Today a lot less, since it's still winter. And there aren't many tourists around yet. What is Anya doing there? The police officers actually explained to her that every Friday morning there's a lottery for some of the vendors to get a spot for a booth. There are three big parking lots in Valbonne and they're actually all for free, so it's easy to come and park. And figure this, it's noon now, close to noon, and there's no more parking spot left really. And this is winter, so imagine what it's going to be like in summer. The best thing is actually to come before 10 in the morning or the latest at 10 because it's going to get really crowded. You just have to check out this market, don't you think? If Friday is not a good day for you, here are some other very nice markets in the area that are worth a visit. If you liked our video, why don't you subscribe to our channel and you'll get to see many more stories from the French Riviera.